Hello, and welcome back to the Jenny LeClue playable teaser. I am looking at the fi field guide to Arthurton flora and fauna. Here we go. It's a plant. In case you didn't know. Um, internal workings and reproduction systems of the regional Perendithius Tropicosum. Okay. Cool story. Next. Here's some seeds and a fruit and a bunny. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Is this rabbit going to turn into a vampire? Now the seeds are in the bunny. The roots grow out of the bunny's ears, which is disturbing and disgusting. <laughs> and the bunny dies and the plant grows out of the bunny's body. Here we have Clue three of five. Cool. You can do it. Uh, let me. Oh, I have to click X. <laughs> Yay! All right. So I think that's all that was in that book. Can I look at this miner's helmet? I wonder if he worked in the mines. I bet so. Who's he? <laughs> all right. All these books also have. Dotty dots on them. The great goats be. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Now here's more books I can touch. I think that I have everything on these shelves. Touching skulls. That skull has no eyes, but I'm sure it's looking at me. I'm sure it is too. There are too many dead things in this room. You said it. I don't want to be one of them. You won't be. I'll get you out of here. All right, let's look at these butterflies. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon! All right, let's move over here. Can we take this knife? It smells of lemons. Must have been recently cleaned. Or he was cutting lemons. Next up... It's not that book. These are like... Traveling books. Ten ways to make them pay! The Villain's Handbook. That's... I approve. Can we smoke a pipe? Quite a collection. It is. Gotta catch them all. No wonder everything in here stinks. I thought you said the knife smelled like lemons. Okay, um... Next up is this Paranormal Collector's Club New Edition Price Guide. Servoceris Novoris. So he paid $13,000 for that skull. An unusual and exceptionally rare addition to our catalog, this fossilized skull is over a million years old. The skull once hung in the bedchamber of the murderous Marquis of Mertien. On Hollow's Eve, bleh, he brutally killed his wife, her lover, and her handmaiden. Fire ravaged the Chateau Bernard in the early bleh century. The skull was all that survived. A Wapfaro ceremonial mask, $64,666. An outstanding spiritual relic and one of the few remaining artifacts of the Awarafo tribe. I like how this looks like a little skull face. Not The rest of it's cool, too, but this is very cute. All right, a rather haunting mask with a two-faced spirit creature at the top. The coloring represents the ancestral realm and the enlightenment of, of communication with the dead. Legend tells of the mask being used in gruesome sacrificial rituals. Supposedly, the mask would grant the wearer grant great healing powers. Grant healing powers as well. Grant Ward from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. healing powers. And with enough simultaneously... Simultaneously... I'm just going to give up speaking today. How about that? Legend tells of the mask being used in gruesome sacrificial rituals. Supposedly, the mask would grant the wearer great healing powers. And with enough simultaneous human sacrifices, it was thought to even grant eternal life. The creature at the top is most likely a forest spirit of benevolent nature. So that is supposed to be a little a little thing atop. See, he's got this owl too. Mephistopheles owl, $237,000. Ever watchful, beautifully mounted, and is exquisitely preserved. This great horned owl, Bubo Viganaya. 
Viginianus is what I see. Dates back to the blue century. Rumored to contain a precious stone possessed by the spirit of Queen Annabeth II. It is believed to protect its owner from unwanted guests and spirits. Eyewitnesses claim to have heard the owl screech in the dead of night. There have even been reports of the owl taking flight. This wonderful specimen will certainly turn heads. So he's purchased everything in this catalog, and it's around the room. And I can't get in this box. And I'm going to read Tommy by the Shore and other stories. Tommy by the Shore. That's a precarious place to be, Tommy. By Adelaide Bleh. High upon the jagged cliffs where seabirds nest and cold winds howl, there is a boy. Every day he climbs to the peak and surveys the endless sea. Today will be the day he comes home to me. Far below is a cottage by the shore. A mother sets the table for three and sings an old song. Oh, my darling, sail home to me and tell me what wonders you have seen. As the sun sets and the sky turns red, Tommy starts his long descent home. He swings fearlessly from rock to rock. The sea smashes against the jagged coast below. Finally, his feet fall on the wet ground. He runs homeward, sand squelching between his toes. It's the same every day, except for this day. Tommy stops in his tracks. Something catches his eye. A thin crevice carved into the ancient cliff face, revealed by the receding tide. Mother always warned him, be careful, Tommy, for you may be clever, but the sea is more so and full of dangerous secrets. But Tommy is an adventurer like his father and knows caves are for exploring. Leaning into the pitch black opening, he calls, hello? Silence. Tommy calls again, hello? A pause, and then he hears a faint reply from somewhere deep in the cave. And so he slips through the narrow opening. He continues to call to the voice in the cave as he moves further into the darkness. The cave echoes with dripping water and the whipping wind. Deeper he wades through the brine until he no longer hears the wind or the sea until all the light is gone, until his calls of hello meet with silence. Picking up this piece. Sweet. There's something else at the back of this book. Well, I'm not done reading, Jenny. Calm, calm your ass. <laughs> until his calls, but, but, but. I don't want to use this. Can I go back? I guess not. Okay, let's try to turn this thing. One, two, three, four. And I've unlocked that, a safe. Which has PTZ3 6B Zazer evidence. Wow, what an elaborate way to open a safe. Confidential evidence, Zazer? I don't want to read this right now. Because the name is familiar because it's the name of the playable teaser. I've seen his statue in the park. What is his journal doing here? And why is it in the safe? I don't know, can I ignore it and go back to the thing I was reading? I'm not done with the story. <laughs> and I ap apparently can't go back. Oh yes, I can, okay. <sighs> Deeper he wades through the brine until he no longer hears the wind or the sea, until all the light is gone, until his calls of hello meet with silence, until the way back on the shore what? Until way back on the shore, the tide begins to roll in. High upon the jagged cliffs where seabirds nest and cold winds howl, there is only the endless sea. Far below in a cottage by the shore, a mother sets the table for two and sings an old song. Oh, my darling, sail home to me and tell me what wonders you have seen. So that's not really an ending. Did the kid die? Whatever. So the safe is open. The book has words on it, but I can't read them. So let's just exit and go look at this. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Am I reading the right thing? I think I am, but I just want to make sure because it just kind of clicked. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to read this next time on the Jenny LeClue playable teaser. I hope you're enjoying yourself. See you soon. Bye.